I'd like to thank the Commission on Presidential Debates and thank you, Mr. Earlier, for allowing me this time in the honor of asking a question or two to the candidates running for our country's highest office. It is an honor and a privilege to be here representing the many children whose very lives will be in your hands. I'm sure some of what I'm about to say will be news to you both. But it should be no surprise at all that um, pediatric cancer is not only severely underfunded in the USA and around the globe, but in many cases of cancer in children, it's just not existent. Each school day, 46 children are diagnosed, and each and every day in our country, seven children die. Worldwide, nobody is really keeping close count, but the numbers are magnified to 200 children dying daily and 600 starting the fight of their life trying to beat cancer while still trying to be a kid and grow up and have fun. That is 73,000 children lost to cancer globally in 2012 alone. Cancer in children does not have borders. There will be 13,140 newly diagnosed children in the United States in the upcoming year. 52,560 in the next four-year term that you are both seeking. 657,000 children got diagnosed with cancer in the last 50 years since Nixon declared a war on cancer in the United States alone. 11 million children globally got diagnosed during the past 50 years as well. 127,750 children have been murdered during that war in our borders, which could be won with proper funding. 3,650,000 children have perished around the globe during the last 50 years. I know I am tossing out a good deal of numbers, but that means there are in the area of 2 million, yes, that's correct, close to 2 million voters, counting just the child that was lucky enough to beat their cancer, or is still fighting for their life, or in remission, and now are young adults, or their parents that will be voting in the next few weeks who have been affected by childhood cancer. And that is certainly enough voters to decide who the next president will be in this tight race that you two are currently in. I personally do not make my political ideology known to the public and not many know my friends or family know where I stand politically, but I will give my vote to the one of you who promises to do the most for children currently fighting cancer and the ones yet to be diagnosed. You both have children and I want to reach out to you both as dads and ask you to put pediatric cancer way up on the list of things to do, no matter which one of you end up being our next president. So at this time, I ask of you, President Obama and Governor Romney, what will you two bring to the table that will shine the lights on pediatric cancer and properly fund the research that will not only save many thousands of and thousands of children for years to come, but create untold tens of thousands of jobs in the highly technical field of pediatric cancer research. It cost over $3 million for the failed treatment plan for our son, Max. There has been only one new drug developed to be used for treating children with cancer in the last 20 years. It's proven that many adult cancers that um, get proper research funding, it leads to cures. We owe our children the first cure and not the last. The money invested now into pediatric cancer research will be saved and failed treatment costs resulting in the unnecessary deaths of children 
all over the world and in every state of our nation. In these critical financial times, it makes all the sense to put aside the emotional side of cancer in children, if that's possible, and just look at the amount of money that is. Um, the taxpayers end up paying in failed treatments. If we invest enough right now to find the cause slash cure for cancer in children, we will get every nickel of it back by not spending $39 billion, 420 million in the next course of a three-year treatment plan for just the children who will get diagnosed in the upcoming year. My phone would not even calculate the last math above, so forgive me if I am off by just a few million. I'm not looking for a general answer to satisfy the listeners of this debate, but a guarantee that we will put forth the same efforts to end cancer in children as we did to put a man on the moon, but in one quarter of the time. Our son Max was one of the 200 children who died on Thanksgiving Day of 2010. He was my buddy. When he died, so did I. Every time a child dies from this monster, so does both of their parents. They die on the inside in many cases. And like I are no more than a carcass going through life for the remainder of their family. The entire family suffers continually without healing in sight. So we find we just fight for a cure so someday no more children will die. I beg of you, Governor Romney and President Obama, no matter which one of you end up being our next president of the United States, please make it a mission to stop the wrecking ball known as pediatric cancer, also known as Little C. Fund research like we are heading to Mars. Make the two missions equivalent. The children you end up saving just might be a loved one of your own. Cancer is the number one disease killer in our youth of future generations. It kills more infants, toddlers, children, and teenagers than most all other diseases combined, including AIDS. Cancer is still the leading cause of death from diseases among U.S. children, and it kills more children than cystic fibrosis, muscular dystrophy, AIDS, asthma, and juvenile diabetes combined. Let us show the world that we are still leaders and can pave the way for a cure and make a future where no other parent has to hear the words, your child has cancer or there is nothing else we can do and put a parent's beloved child on hospice care. It is too late for my buddy. It is too late for Evan, it is too late for Brendan, it is too late for Giselle, for Jeremy, it's too late for Julian, it is too late for Emily, it's too late for Isaiah, but it's not too late for Aria, Aurora, Lizzie, Taylor, Keegan, Lance, and so many more that we have gotten to know that are still in treatment for what is known as Remission where the parents never rest for fear the monster will return. To those listening, you can help now. Go to the link in the description of the video to get involved with St. Baldrick's where you can be a volunteer, make a donation, or hold an event to shave your head to raise funds for pediatric cancer research. Turn CureSearch.org or Alex's Lemonade Stand and do your part to save the life of a child. Support companies that provide funding for childhood cancer research, and it costs nothing to spread awareness in this video. Please contribute and view our other awareness videos. It will take us all to stop the monster that are, is taking our children. Thank you, President Obama and Governor Romney, in advance for what you are willing to do to put an end to cancer in children. 
I'm sorry, Maxwell Kincaid Nunn. It's great that dad and mom could not save you. Sissy and mom and dad miss you very much. Each and every minute of every day. Even in our dreams, when we rest, we miss you, buddy. We will never quit fighting, just as you did not. I'm so very sorry, buddy. I love you. Stop childhood cancer.